You've told us it's a safety problem and an eyesore. Abandoned vehicles piling up around the island. Ah, but tonight a sign things are about to get better. Sarah Madison follows up. It's a sight we're seeing all too often on Oahu. Abandoned vehicles on the side of roads, car graveyards. With a lack of space, with a military issue, with less processing centers, that's where we are today. The city also ran into some setbacks. It recently reached a settlement with the Department of Justice regarding vehicles belonging to active duty service members. So we've changed some of our processes to be more successful at that in the future. Back in September, we told you the city also hired an extra person dedicated to finding vehicle owners in the military. But we found that person left the position after a month. It was at that point in the contract too late to find someone, train someone. So what we just asked existing staff to step up to the plate and work a little bit more. And work a little more they did. The city was able to destroy about 250 abandoned military vehicles out of 550. It also moved abandoned vehicles from the tow contractor's lot into a city lot to free up more space. Right now we have the contractor on a schedule and they're picking up abandoned vehicles according to districts. And we're going to keep working with them on the schedule now that we have additional space. City officials are also heading to state lawmakers for help. Some of the assistance they're asking for are more space, business incentives to process disposed cars, and stiffer penalties. One of the things that I have asked the legislature to assist on is looking at a way to stop the abandonment of vehicles because that's illegal. Buddy Sarah joins us now, and I know viewers have told us they see a lot of abandoned vehicles along Kamehameha Highway on the windward side. Is the city doing anything about those vehicles? Yeah, that's right. We did ask about that. And even if it's on a city or pri private street, the city will tow those abandoned vehicles if it threatens public safety. Now, I'm told officials have already removed 13 of those vehicles on Kamehameha Highway this past Saturday. Just a start, but at least a good start. Progress. All right, Sarah, thank you very much.